That was an interesting part of my life. I bet that was. It, um, what it did was, I, I changed. Uh, I got less involved with the television, which was my bread and butter, and moved seriously and effortlessly into films. But I didn't play the lead. What I did was I played um, important, very important parts in about three or four movies in that period, but never the lead. And uh, I, I wanted to, I, I wanted to break out of the mold, the television mold, and do pictures that I was proud of. So those two pictures that I did. Um, well, there were th three or four, really, but those two pictures were memorable to me. Well, for future generations who may not uh, have read uh, Capote's uh, uh, book, uh, just briefly, what, what is In Cold Blood about? Cold Blood is, takes place on a farm in Kansas, and uh, one night there's a something happens in the house that you know about and you don't know really know about and uh, the shots and the next day it's discovered that uh, there were two men in the house who robbed the place because they would heard that this farmer had money and they shot and killed him and took his money and then left. And I played the And his old family, didn't he? They killed his entire family. Entire family. Mm -hmm. uh, I played the uh, head of the detectives in Kansas who uh, who's hell bent on, on getting these guys. And he, he follows them across country, tracks them down, and subsequently nabs them and make certain that they 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 pay for what they did. They they get them hung at the end. And it was um, it was a very compelling piece because the boys, the two boys, were interesting, two good actors, and. Um, the one was Robert Blake. Right? Bobby Blake, yes, and uh, Wilson was Scott there. Scott, Scott Wilson. Wilson. Uh, it, it turned out to be a, a very, very good movie and, uh, and was won lots of awards. And I guess we should emphasize it was actually based on a true story. Yes, it was. And, and the only thing I remember, <laughs> we, of course, I was scared to death. Uh, this was a serious piece. Now, every now and then there was a, a burst of humor, but uh, largely me and smoking and everything. Uh, <laughs> the director subsequently became one of my best friends, said uh, when he interviewed me, he said, you smoke, don't you? I said, no, I, I stopped smoking about 15 years ago. Oh, he said, John. I said, what? He said, well, you'd forgotten in the book. There are passages where he talks about smoking, where he hates the idea of the damn cigarette. Uh, and his wife hates him for smelling up the house and everything. Uh, and he says he's got to smoke, and he's got to smoke all the time. I said, I don't know whether I can do that. Well, turns out that I did it and smoked as often as I had to in the picture, which was very, very often. Uh, putting out cigarettes, in, three, four cigarettes in a scene, you know, and I would step on them and, uh, and go on. Well, came the end of the picture and I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to stop. 
because I hadn't smoked in so many years, and the thought of smoking again was very disturbing to me. But the best thing that I ever did was, and the, the most remarkable thing, is that I decided I wasn't going to smoke, and the minute I stepped on the last cigarette, having smoked two packs a day for, uh, for six months uh, working on this picture, and it was an essential part of, his, of, of this guy's character, I was able to turn it off just like that and never pick up another cigarette. Right. Wow, I want to tell you what an achievement that was for me. I, because I, I would wake up in the middle of the night down toward the end of the picture in a sweat, thinking about what I was going to do. Was I going to be able to stop it? What? And it uh, turned out to be a key thing in my life.